Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a tremendous problem for you all today. This one is from the 2010 Kazakhstan National Olympiad. Uh, so there was another subscriber to my channel who recommend that I look at this contest. And I realized that there's actually another video I did already that has a, another problem that was on that contest the same year. So if you look at video 90 on my channel, uh, that's also from the Kazakhstan Math Olympiad. So if you'd like to try this problem, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm going to go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC with circumcenter O. D is the foot of the altitude from A to BC. CO meets AD at point E. M is the midpoint of AE. Then we let MO meet BC at point G. And we let F be the foot of the perpendicular from C to the line AO. And we want to show that BOGF is cyclic. All right. So my first idea when I tried this problem was to use projective geometry. Um, so you can see since M is the midpoint of AE, it looks like maybe we could um, project through point O. Um, so as I've mentioned many times on my channel, uh, if M is the midpoint of AE, and that means the cross ratio AEM and the point at infinity is equal to one. So that's often a very useful fact. And maybe for this problem, some of you might say projective geometry is overkill. Um, it's just the first solution I found. So if you have uh, other solutions that don't use it, uh, feel free to post them in the comments. All right, so I'm gonna start out uh, just writing out what I mentioned, that the cross ratio AEM infinity is equal to 1. Um, and that's because uh, this cross ratio AEM and uh, the point at infinity, well, M divides the segment AE into a 1 to 1 ratio. Uh, so AM over EM is equal to 1, uh, since M is the midpoint. And the point at infinity also divides the segment in a 1 to 1 ratio, because uh, if you take the ratio of a distance of a point very far away to those two points, uh, it approaches one. All right. So where? So now, as I mentioned, I'm going to try to project those uh, points through point O. Um, now the question is, where do we project it onto? And I tried a couple different things, but I found that projecting onto BC um, seemed to work well. All right. So I'm going to do that now. So M goes to point G, E goes to point C. To see where A goes to, we'd have to label that point. Um, and the point at infinity, um, we'd have to draw the parallel to AD um, and see where it meets BC. So I'm gonna do that. Um, so the parallel uh, through O to AD is the same as the perpendicular from O to BC. So that's, I'm gonna call that H. Uh, so H is the midpoint of BC. All right, and now I'm gonna label this intersection point right here. Um, so I'm gonna call it J, that's the intersection of the line AO with BC. And now I'm gonna do the projection that I mentioned. All right, so if we project through O onto the line BC, uh, A goes to point J, E goes to point C, M goes to point G, and the point at infinity, um, that's, we would take the parallel through O to AD, which is line OH, so that goes to point H. So that means this cross ratio of JCGH is equal to one. All right, so we have these four points, JCGH. And another thing I notice is that uh, angle JFC is 90 degrees. And so that helps us because um, if you have four points that are in harmonic conjugation, so the cross ratio is equal to one, and you have a right angle like this, then that means that FJ is actually the bisector of angle HFG. Uh, so I mentioned this, I think it was video 55 on my channel. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, so I'm gonna use that, I think in a later step. Um, but before I do that, note one other thing. So Angle OHC is 90 degrees, and angle OFC is also 90 degrees. So OHFC is a cyclic quadrilateral. So I'm gonna use that fact later, um, but that's gonna help out with uh, the angle chase that I end up doing. All right, okay, so OHFC is cyclic. 
for that reason. It has two uh, right angles intercepting the same side. And now I'm going to write out what I mentioned. Um, so angle JFC is 90 degrees um, by definition. And JC, uh, G, and H have cross ratio 1, uh, which I proved up here because um, the original cross ratio is equal to 1. So by transitivity, that's true. And so if you look at video 55 on my channel, I think I've used this fact maybe three times in my videos before, some, something around that. But that means that angle GFJ has to equal angle HFJ. Um, that's a property of um, this kind of configuration. All right. So I'm drawing in those two segments. And from here on, uh, it's really just an angle chase that helps solve the problem. Uh, so I'm going to write it out here. Uh, so if angle GFJ is equal to angle HFJ, then that's the same as saying angle GFO is equal to angle HFO. Um, and now I'm going to continue this angle chase. So angle HFO is equal to angle HCO. Um, so and, and angle HCO, so this equality is true because HFCO is cyclic. Um, HCO by symmetry is the same as angle HBO. Uh, that's because O is the circumcenter of triangle ABC. Uh, so that's where I use that fact. Um, since it is the circumcenter, OB is equal to OC. And so angle HCO is equal to angle HBO. Um, in fact, I wonder if O can be any point on the perpendicular bisector of BC. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the case with this problem, but I encourage you to check it out because I think that uh, O might actually be able to be any point on the bisect on the perpendicular bisector of BC. Uh, anyways, we have angle HCO is equal to angle HBO, uh, which is equal to angle GBO. And so combining that information, if angle GFO is equal to angle GBO, that gets us exactly where we want. BOGF is cyclic. Um, which solves the problem. Uh, so when I solved this myself, uh, I really worked backwards. So um, it was a little hard to explain it um, because I had to um, finish with this fact when in fact I kind of uh, backed into it when I solved the problem. But uh, I want to thank the other subscriber to my channel for uh, recommending this Math Olympiad to me. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.